Let's bring in the author of the upcoming book, As Goes California, My Mission to Rescue the Golden State and Save the Nation, 2024 Republican presidential candidate Larry Elder. Larry, it's always great to have you on. I mean, I kind of look at this whole NAACP thing saying that Florida's hostile. You know, you look down the list and you can go to Illinois, Chicago, you know, St. Louis and Missouri and New York. There are dozens of black people shot every single month, many of them killed, and yet Florida is hostile to black people. What are your thoughts on this, Larry? Well, Trace, the NAACP has an existential problem, and that problem is this. Racism has never been less important in America, which poses a real threat to the relevancy of the NAACP. What to do when the demand for racism and racist incidents exceeds the supply? You then say that a state like Florida, whose crime is to prevent white boys from being perceived as oppressors mm -hmm. and black boys being perceived mm -hmm. and girls being perceived as victims, suddenly that's hostile uh, to black people. This is a state, Florida, uh, where, according to its Chamber of Commerce, is the number one state for black businesses, mm -hmm. the number two state for Hispanic businesses, number three state for female businesses. It is a state that has a voucher system statewide where educational savings programs, uh, urban parents, according to polls, want vouchers. The Democratic Party is adamantly yeah. opposed to it. Uh, Florida is in favor of it. And Florida, unlike many other states, like mine in California, where I am right now, opened their state back up during COVID faster so black kids did not suffer the same kind of learning loss they did in other yeah. places. And this is a state that's hostile to black people. Scotty, beat me up. <laughs> yeah, and, and I was going to say the same thing about black businesses in Florida. Uh, the Wall Street Journal writes the, the following, quoting here, the NAACP advisory shows that even in today's polarized environment, it's still possible to lower the bar. After all, the huffing about political norms in recent years, it will be fascinating to see if anybody on the left calls this <laughs> claptrap out for what it really is. Nobody's calling it out. It's not a media organization in the country, except for us, eh, maybe a few others calling this stuff out, Larry. Well, that's right. And that's why I'm running for president and asking people to throw something in the tip jar by going to elderforpresident.com. Uh, the NAACP doesn't seem to care about the epidemic of fatherlessness in the black community. 70% of black kids enter the world without a father in the home, married to the mother. They don't seem to be too concerned about the lack of educational achievement. 85% of black kids in America, 13 year old, according to the nation's report card, can neither read nor do math at grade level. And they don't seem to be too concerned about crime, as you pointed out. 23, 23 people shot mm -hmm. this past weekend in the new mayor's first weekend. Where's yeah, the NAACP? <laughs> yeah, and I want to pick up on that point you're talking about. First of all, the NAACP, to close out that topic, reportedly that the chairman of the NAACP lives in Tampa. Meantime, on to Chicago and the death toll of Chicago Sun-Times. Chicago gun violence killed two 24 wounded in weekend shootings. A man was shot to death Friday evening in Riverdale on the far south side, and a 17-year-old boy was shot to death in North Lawndale early right. Saturday. They're protesting in New York. There's nobody protesting. There's no Black Lives Matter movements out in Chicago. They're just not, and you think, why? The number one cause of preventable death for young black males is homicide, almost always at the hand of another young black man. According to the CDC trace, a young, a black male aged 10 to 43 is 13 times more likely to be murdered than a white male in the same demo. And in speaking of Florida, the chairman of the board of directors of the NAACP lives in Florida. And the chair of the GOP says, OK, if Florida is hostile to black people, we will pay your moving fees to get out of the state if you want to leave. Yeah, <laughs> so far, it really is. hasn't been taken up on the offer. <laughs> yeah, Larry, thank you for coming on. We appreciate your time as always. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.